What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you some of the latest news to come from Bungie's weekly update which has not long dropped. Definitely some interesting things to cover for sure. But before we get into that, I'm giving away exclusive emblem and spiral codes as well as gift cards for Xbox and PlayStation. To win some simply drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below and join my Discord server linked within the video description. Okay so the weekly update which mainly concentrates on the PC version of the game and the build up to it, which in my honest opinion should be epic. I'm still yet to decide whether or not to play this game on PC. I mean, help me out people, what should I do? I've never played a game on PC before. I mean, probably about five minutes of the game, way, way, way back in the day, but nothing major. Uh, so what do you think? Should I play this on PC? Should I not? Let me know down below. Now they talk about a guide put out by Nvidia to best optimize your PC's performance for your configuration for your PC and running Destiny 2. That guide can be found linked within the video description via the link to Bungie's weekly update. So the launch calendar for PC has also been dropped. From the get go you get to do the Nightfall and the Prestige version as well as Nightfall guided games. Week 2 you get to play the Raid as well as Trials of the Nine and Week 3 you get the Prestige version of the Leviathan Raid as well as guided games for the Raid itself. Now no matter where you are in the world you can play Destiny 2 on PC on the 24th of October at 10am Pacific Time. Moving on and they talk about Seasons of Change. This is what they state. Deej and I are heading to beautiful Long Beach, California for TwitchCon. Tomorrow we're putting on a panel to share some info about what seasons are in Destiny 2. Deej will be joined by live game director Ryan Paradis and senior designer Steve Dolan. Here is a little of what you can expect. Panel discussion, the seasons of Destiny at Friday, October 24, 30pm Pacific on the Cool Cat Theatre and the Cool Cat Channel. What do seasons mean in Destiny 2? What will change from season to season? How will this evolve the Destiny player experience? If you are unable to attend, meaning TwitchCon, don't sweat it. The TwitchCon panel will be streaming live for you on Twitch. When the time has come, you can tune in via the link they supply within the weekly update. Like I said, the weekly update is linked within the video description. So these seasons will obviously consist of Bungie talking about the return of faction rallies, Iron Banner and maybe something else, something new. I seriously hope though they consider all the great great ideas put forth to them by the community as some of the things people have suggested really do and should be incorporated to make things a million times better than what we experienced so far. Iron Banner in my opinion was trash and I made a video talking about it and to be honest faction rallies wasn't far behind on a third scale. So much more can be offered from these events and hopefully they will do that with the future updates. Now on to the last thing worth a mention is the latest incoming patch and the major effects it will have on the game over the next few weeks. They state Destiny 2 Hotfix 1.0.5 Following today's maintenance, we deployed Destiny 2 Hotfix 1.0.5. This hotfix addressed several issues, including an issue which resulted in the erroneous removal of raid keys from players' inventories. For information on upcoming maintenance and game updates, players should watch our Destiny 2 server and update status page. Players may also follow at Bungie Help on Twitter or monitor our support feed on help.bungie.net for maintenance announcements when they are available. Trials of the Nine, and this one is a big one people, as a follow up to reported incidents of emo glitching in the Crucible, we are investigating a fix which we plan to deploy during the first week of November. In the meantime, the next two instances of Trials will be postponed. Stay tuned for updates, we will provide more information as it becomes available. At this time, next instance of the Trials of the Nine is forecasted to resume on November 3rd, 2017. So yeah guys, Charles and Nine is taking a break. Now to be honest, the glitch and what people were doing with it was seriously game breaking. Some of the clips I saw my fellow content creators post on Twitter were scandalous. And I honestly can't blame Bungie for postponing Charles and Nine if the glitch is still out there. 
Now I'm not one to know, but does it take three weeks to fix something like that? I honestly have no idea, unless they are waiting to apply this patch with whatever else they have planned for November 3rd, if that be faction rallies or the Iron Banner. We will just have to wait and see. I'm kind of gutted though for those of you out there who enjoy Trials of the Nine. And on that note guys, the weekly update just goes on to talk about more PC jibber jabber. Like I said, the link to it will be found within the video description if you do want to read through all you can. But on that note guys, I am out. Thanks for stopping by as always. Hopefully you enjoyed your stay here. Enough to press that like button as that really does help me out. And people, hopefully I will see you on that next one.